So you're looking at an 8x10 uh, painting of a traditional Italian cannoli. It's uh, on canvas and uh, cannoli is uh, placed onto one of these doilies you see here. And I decided that the doily had this really interesting uh, arabesque uh, intricate pattern to it that really played off nicely and added you know, a touch of elegance to the whole composition. And then I have this uh, you know, teal plate uh, that the whole composition really sat nicely on. And if you've seen some of my past works, I've worked quite a bit with these uh, you know, elliptical compositions with plates. So in this particular one, I decided to crop it off a little bit. So you can see here the back of the cannoli, some of the uh, cream filling coming out. And then there's you know, a few bits of uh, chunks of the cannoli down here in the foreground, just to you know, sort of add to the variation and uh, you know, quality of the whole piece. I worked really hard to get this uh, gradation on the uh, tabletop of the plates on. There's this cool gray blue down here in the right corner, then it moves over to this uh, warmer tonality. And then, like, uh, you know, as the day passes by, I've been working on this for several hours, the light is constantly changing, so I've decided to uh, play up the uh, violet gray light back here and seen it come through the window. Painted this piece uh, all under natural light, and I just turned the light on so uh, it's a little bit more illuminated. Uh, oftentimes, looking through your computer and the way the light sort of uh, diffuses over this, it can uh, impact the way the color is. But this is a very rich, luminous piece, I have to say, and there's quite a bit of atmosphere in it too. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit more work on some of the. Uh, gray-violet gradations back here on the table and then working to get it to diffuse into this uh, cast shadow right here. As you can see there's this cast shadow. So that's going to merge into here, sort of using a scumbled stroke to get this tonality to uh, be a little bit more gradual. Alright, I'm on the finishing touches of this uh, Italian cannoli on a plate. Uh, this is uh, 8 by 10 inches, oil on canvas, and uh, recently uh, purchased this at a, uh, a local Italian festival. And I uh, purchased a few other items also, Italian baked goods. But this, this was one that really caught my eye. I mean, there's an entire tradition behind cannolis. Uh, Noticing a little bit of cool light over here on the right hand side, then I have this interaction of uh, warm next to it. I go in there and put a little bit more detail on the uh, cream filling. It's really neat the way this cream filling moves inward throughout the shell, and then how like this little uh, little bits of sugar, powdered sugar, sort of uh, uh, darts all throughout the surface here, and all this, these uh, fine textures are really neat to paint too. Okay, I moved up a little bit cl more closely. Uh, there's these little, uh, little textural marks that make up the surface, and I'm going in with a small bristle brush and actually applying some cool tonalities, almost like I'm using almost like a pointless technique here little round shapes of color. I don't know how many of you have seen cannolis, but they have this like characteristic like uh, pocked surface. Once again, this is an 8x10 oil on canvas, a traditional realist painting of an Italian cannoli. The uh, opening price is uh, $100. Uh, market value is between sixteen dollars and $1,800.